In this Inspired Insider.com interview, we talk with the co-founder and CEO of Help Scout, Nick Francis. Listen to why I titled this, Are You Too Proud to Beg? And how Nick got initial users and ultimately customers. You're going to want to hear how they think about their customers. That and much more coming up right now. Hey, Jeremy Weiss here. We're here with Nick Francis. He's the co-founder and CEO at Help Scout. It's a simple, straightforward way to provide excellent customer support. Thanks for being with us, Nick. Thank you very much. Happy to be with you. So, Nick, we get a lot of comments and questions from people with tons of ideas of where to start. Um, they're maybe trying to do it on the side while they have a full-time job, family, debt, bills, all of that. Maybe they have a fear their friends or family you know, may see the business fail. I know that you started with the client work and then transitioned to Help Scout. So you're a perfect person to talk about going from that idea to sales in that first sale. Can you talk to us first? I know you guys are doing great at Help Scout and you're helping a lot of businesses. What was that time where you remember that was difficult about getting traction with, with sales with Help Scout? Uh, I think it's always toughest at the beginning, right? And so when we've got just kind of the very bare minimum product that we're using, um, I, I had to do a lot of begging. You know, we were in a space uh, at Techstars here in Boston that, that had a lot of different startups. So I was just kind of making the rounds, just begging one after one. Hey, would you guys, I know it's probably not as good as what you're using now, but could you just try to use Help Scout? Give us some feedback. You know, I'll give you an account. You know, at, there will be a time. You just kind of have to beg. And eventually, you're going to learn enough. You're going to make enough iterations on the product that you feel like, okay, I can actually, like, they're going to pay for this product. It's adding a lot of value. So that's kind of that's kind of the difference. That's great. Um, what was? Do you remember any one of those early feedbacks from those uh, initial customers that you get, set up with that account? Yeah, I mean... Uh, Initially, like it was always painful because like they would use it for a week. I remember, I think the guys at Localytics did this, where a great Boston company they they had tried Health Scout and it was like, you know, it's not working for us. You know, it's not really working for the scale of our team. They're pretty big team and so on, and they had to go back, you know, to using their original thing initially. But now they're happy customers. You know, it just it took a while, but at the same time. Uh, just going through that learning process and trying to get get people on board is is tough sometimes. Yeah, very. So now let's switch gears. Tell us a story about maybe a pivotal sale, a connection that you made. What's one of those? I think it's, it's always mind-boggling, really exciting to see a big company using your product at scale the way you've always thought that it could be used. I mean, it helps out our support volume is okay, but we have a lot of companies that get a lot more support than we do. So it's really great to see, you know, there was a company that closed, I think a few months ago, has like a hundred users, and they're getting a couple thousand emails a day, Wow! and they just scale beautifully with Help Scout, and we always thought that it would for the right use case, but at the same time, seeing that in action, seeing that they're a happy customer, uh, that, was a, that was a huge win for us. So the the audience obviously wants to get from that begging point to that big sale. What, <laughs> what's one thing the audience you'd recommend them do right now to get towards that? Yeah, I think the best thing, you know, we had the luxury of building a product that's for ourselves. So we understood the pain point relatively well. We kind of are our persona. And so we were able to kind of dive into the product. But if you don't have a good idea of what that ideal customer looks like, if it's not you, then I would spend... An, an extraordinary amount of time talking to people that are the ideal customer. You know, we've got personas at Help Scout that are extremely detailed. Like, you know, here's Help Desk Heidi, right? Like, we've got paragraphs about who these people are and what they mean to our business and, and what they look for in a Help Desk. I mean, you should really focus on finding what that ideal customer looks like and then talking to 50 of them getting their feedback on what they look for in a product before you do anything else. So tell us a little bit about Help Desk Heidi. 
Like, what kind of things do you write <laughs> write on for Help Desk Heidi? Let's see, Help Desk Heidi. She is in a company the size that has ten or more people. Uh, her role in the company, she's on the front line. She talks to customers every day. So she's probably not at an executive level. Um, she's the one that understands their customers arguably better than anybody else. Um, she's very knowledgeable about what's on the market as far as other products. Uh, and it goes on and on like as far as like what features are most important to Heidi. We actually address her by name when we're talking about you know features that would that would be a value add. And we even give some background like, this is who Heidi is. This is her personality type, and you know we encounter Heidi almost every day in our business. It's pretty cool to kind of see the two match up. And then you were mentioning how many different personas did you guys make up for your yeah, customers? Yeah, we have three. We have okay. three different ones, uh, and I'd encourage you, especially when you're starting out, don't ever do more than three. I mean, uh, you don't want to. Everybody thinks they're they're products for everybody, but you really want to isolate on a very specific market and use case and still all of these are, are pretty narrow and I they, love they it. a little bit yeah thanks nick for sharing that that's going to be that's a powerful thing so we all need to go out and make our you know target and who our ideal customer and map it out so just to have people thank you and reach out to you can you tell us a little bit where they can find you and about uh, help scout yeah, my email is nick at gethelpscout.com. On Twitter, I'm at Nick Francis. I'd be happy to talk to anybody uh, about startups, about customer service. We don't have salespeople. I'll never sell, but if you want to talk about the business, I'd be happy to do so. Help Scout's a really simple way for your team to do customer support. I encourage you to check it out. Give us some feedback. We're still in the mode of looking for feedback. We're not too cool for that. Um, so, yeah, I hope to, hope to hear from many of you. Yeah, I mean, with the, w the way you run things, I know you're always, uh, I could see you guys always taking customer feedback. So I, we appreciate you coming on, and thank you so much, Nick. Thank you, Jeremy.